Let me introduce you to my favorite bag in the world. These are GORUCK GR1 Shooter Editions. Let's talk about it. GORUCK introduced their shooter line, which was specifically designed to carry your CCW with you on a daily basis or whenever you wanted to carry. This edition, this is an older edition. This is a 1000D Cordura. It's set up like most GR1s. It's got your Molly or Pals webbing three rows at the bottom. I got my carabiner hooked in. It's got the slash pocket that I have a love-hate relationship with. It's got the morale patch filled up at the top. It's got your bomb-proof laptop compartment there in the back. Great shoulder straps. Love everything about the GR1. But also, inside, there's a party going on inside, guys. Large number 10 YKK zips. Let's get into it. On the lid, same as most GR1s. It's got the pockets on the top, the small one that you can get access to. It's got the mesh pocket down here at the bottom, but on the back panel. Now, let's talk about it. On the back panel, we have this loop line feel that we can do a lot of things with. Have your fun, be creative. Now, in the older versions, it had this molly strip or pounds webbing strip, a coin across. So if you actually wanted to hook something in and like kind of bolt it in, you could, right? So this is a great pack. I use it all the time. As you can see from the wear on the outside, I use it all of the time. But they upgraded this pack and they did it in a 500D Cordura version. This is a, like a ranger green color, same kind of outside. You know, the material is different. It's a little lighter because it's 500D. So you do have your pals webbing or molly on the top. Got my carabiner kind of set up the same way. Morale patch field, slash pocket, bomb proof laptop compartment on the back. So I got the little cage light right here. This glows green. These things work forever. They're on County Com. You can check those things out. No affiliate link. That's just what's on the outside of my bag. When I'm trying to locate my bag at night, it's a great thing. Large number 10 YKK zips. The zippers on this on this bag are a little bit smoother than that 1000D. I don't know why that is. But same pockets, great pocket at the top, mesh pocket down here. We'll go through all of my stuff. But inside, a whole lot of fun, a lot of creativity. Now, there are a lot of companies out there that do these like hook and loop accessory pockets and things of that nature, but VanQuest. I think has some of the best. And I reached out to them and I was like, hey, can you send me over these specific things? And they were nice enough to send them over. They always take care of me over at VanQuest. I love them. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's walk through how I have this thing set up. Everything is done in here on purpose for design. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna say, well, I don't like when they have that loop back feel because it adds weight. Yes, I, it does add some weight, but the VanQuest pockets are weight, you know, they keep that weight in mind. Let's walk through it. Oh, over here in the corner, this is the VanQuest sticky admin pouch. So everything has the uh, hook back on it, two nice panels, so it doesn't, it doesn't move. It doesn't move when it's in my pack. Now, got a big lighter. I have another cage light. This is also from County Comics. This is a bigger one, right? This one lights up great at night if you need to mark something or whatever. Two Sharpies, blue and black, and then I have an O light band. We'll get back to that in a second. And it also has a pocket on this side. So when you open it up, I just have an extra field notes notebook cover because I take a lot of notes for the job, for whatever, and also a bandana is in there, right? You could use a bandana for a thousand things. But flatter items kind of are in this pouch and I can zip it up and stick it right there. And it stays right there. What you'll notice right here, I'm gonna walk through, right? So what you notice right here, this is the Nightcore NU6. This is a signal light. All you do is push this button and the light comes on. It does blue, it does green, it does red, and all flash, and it also does like a, oh, it does white, and it also does like a police blue and red. So if you wanna turn it off, all you do is 
hold it and it turns off. Now what you'll notice inside of this one is when they upgraded it, they put some more PALS slash Molly webbing inside the, of the pack right here. So it runs throughout the pack, all right? So let's move over. I have my AirPods Pro. The, this is in a catalyst case right here. This is a waterproof case for your AirPods. I have it hooked at the top on the little D-ring that is on most GR1s and most GoRug bags. So it's not going anywhere. It's right there at the top. I need to access it. Now let's get to the pocketing. The organization is on 10. I am super OCD, but hey, this is why you're here, right? So these are VanQuest's sticky pouches. This is an extra small. They weigh almost next to nothing, all right? The extra small one is 1.7 ounces. For all those concerned about the weight of, you know, the loop back field and all of that. Now, on the outside of the pouch, they do have like a morale patch field so you can hook in whatever you want. I got these labels made up on Etsy. Young lady did them for me, thank you very much. I forgot her name, but yeah, I'll try to link everything down in the description. This one is tech, all right? Notice the black background. This is gonna come in later, all right? So nice uh, VanQuest Spartan zipper pulls on all of their pouches, double zipper. And then inside I have, this is my battery bank. This is the smallest and lightest 10,000 milliamp battery out there on the market today. It is super light. It's lighter than my cell phone, 10,000 milliamp. This is the Night Court NU 10,000 right super great super great usb-c chargeable i also have a little block i got these from some phone that i got years ago and i also have the in charge charging cord which has i think six different tips to it so that you can charge whatever you got usb-c lightning you regular usb mini all of that and it just has exchangeable tips. That's the only cord I'm carrying from now on. You'll notice these little uh, little tags right here. Then we'll talk about that later. Everything has a color code because I'm OCD. So that's the tech pouch. Over here is the hygiene pouch. It's got these Ranger Eye, you know, little patches on there, funny stuff. You know, it just makes me feel good when I look in my pack and I got all my stuff. Nivea hand cream, whatever. Dude wipes in there and some chapstick. I think there's some more stuff in there. Mm, not really. I think there's some, um, some, yeah, hand sanitizer down here at the bottom. You know, shout out to Dollar General or Dollar Tree. <laughs> but yeah, in there is all my hygiene stuff. Now, moving down, 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 down. This is just, you know, you know, stuff that I like. Now, I was talking about the co color coded system, right? This is VanQuest's Prepper, what do they call this stuff? VanQuest Prepper Color Code Kit. That's what they call it. So everything on here has a specific code. This down here says tech, it's black. It's black in my bag. This right here says hydration or water. It's blue in my bag, it's blue on this ship, uh, on, on this patch. So everything has a color code associated with it and it goes down here. Now, the Nalgene bottle. This is VanQuest's, you know, they call it the Hydra water bottle holder. This one actually has Molly, like a Molly attachment to it on the back. So that's that. And it's blue, it's lightweight as hell. So now the water bottle, this is now Jean's ultra light water bottle. I always used to look at those water bottles people had and I'll be like, what? Why did they get the basic blue and white one? Why, why is that different? Because I like, I like the colors, like show me the colors, like give me, give me a little design or whatever. Now, this one weighs six ounces, why this one weighs three ounces. So I did keep in mind, I did, you know, in my mind, try to make this bag as lightweight as possible. I got a human gear water little spout to this. I like the way it actually, you know, the, the water like, is, comes out uh, instead of it just being wide and just falling all over your body and all your shirt. So that does add a little bit of weight, but I'm willing to do that because I just don't want a wet shirt. Um, over here, I have these patches. I had this guy make them up. He's on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. He'll take any photo that you have and he'll put it 
on a patch for you. So this is a day that I took my kids to the pool and it was like, you know, we had a great time. So I was like, hey, take a picture, you know, and I just wanted to, you know, carry that picture with me. And when I open my bag, I can see my kids. I love that. Over here is the parent or pre-run Olight right here. This is not a thrower. Like it's not gonna throw light all the way down the range. This is a flood. So when I'm cooking up my boat or something like that at night, I like to have this light because it does an awesome job of showing me my surroundings immediately around me. Now, it also comes with this patch which you hook the light onto. It has as a reversible pocket clip. You can hook it on a hat, hook it on your belt, but also this patch is key. So on this patch, you'll notice I, over here, I had a band. There's a band right here. This goes with, with the light. So there's a loop back field. This is hook. You stick it on together and now you got a headlight and I use this all the time because when you're hooking up your boat, guys know if you're hooking up trailers and stuff, you need both hands. So that's what that is. This fits perfectly right there. And what's so great about having your pack set up like this is everything is like at a touch. You know, you open the pack and it's right there for you to grab or whatever. So I like that. Over there, this is just another one of those patches I had made up. That's a day we went to uh, Belize and we were swimming, me and Irene, so that's an excellent thing. And then I also have a little patch I got from Belize over there. So tape is in here because if I don't put it in my bag, my kids will take my tape and I will never see it again. Then I'll be like, where's the tape? I don't, I don't know where they put the tape, whatever. So these are, this is a sticky panel that VanQuest makes, right? This is a Benchmade Buckout carbon fiber. So I love the Benchmade bug out, but I wasn't a fan of the Grivery, Grivery, plastic scales. I wasn't a fan of that. And this is the Gerber Dime down here. That's my multi-tool. Usually I just get a real tool. That's why this is in here. This is just sitting in here because I mm, don't use it too much. But yeah, so this is the two by three. They also sell a two by seven right there. So you can organize, boom, boom. You can organize how you want. And th this is this is enough for me for as far as you know tools. I got my I got some regular little Fisker scissors down there because I cut random things and mail packages and I'm like, where's I need my scissors. So I got scissors in my bag. And actually I use them a whole lot. Down here at the bottom, this is the first aid kit. This is VanQuest's small sticky pouch on the outside. First aid, got a little bullet that's from, you know, Mario Brothers. So same thing, got it labeled red, red on the outside, two zippers, Spartan zipper pulls. This is my son's uh, EpiPen because I just found out he's allergic to everything. So I have to carry an EpiPen for him. And this is one of Matador's like a little cases that they sell. They send me a whole bunch of stuff. I'm gonna actually do a separate review on that, but I've been carrying that thing all the time. And down at the bottom is the LTC Pocket IFAC. So if you're needing to carry an IFAC with you or a little boo-boo kit, this is an excellent one. And a little expensive and there was some gripes about that, but um, look at the stuff that that's actually in it. You will be surprised how much medical gear costs. But this is my first aid kit. It's a little bigger, mainly because of my son's EpiPen. That's why it's a little bigger. But I've thought through this whole thing. Like what I wanted to carry and what I don't want to carry. And I'm not carrying anything that I don't use. That's the biggest thing. Now over here in the pockets, in the regular pockets that the GR1 has in every GR1, I have a Mallet & Mall wallet that I used for like the Metro and going in and out of work. I got some gum and some Tic Tacs. And I have my office keys. That's some regular stuff that you guys probably have similar things that you're carrying that's like that. So, and, and in the larger mesh pocket, I have my iPad mini that rides in there iPad mini rides in there. And then also a pop-off leather 
uh, field, field note, notebook cover, right? It's field notes, notebook cover. That's in there. That's where I, you know, my business cards are and a pen that wants to escape. So that's what's in there. Also, I have another Matador little case. These are all waterproof. They, they actually do really cool stuff. So this is like a like an aluminum or stainless steel and it's got a waterproof top. And because I'm a fat ass, I have Jolly Ranchers in there, but they are no sugar Jolly Ranchers. So I don't feel so bad carrying them, but <laughs> I didn't carry food in my bag for the longest time because you know, if I carry food, I'm gonna eat that shit. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, that's the setup of the bag right now. How I have it, um, everything's not perfect in there right now. I'll fix it after the video's done. But yeah, I wanted to show you this. So, the GR1 shooter is discontinued. George, why the hell are you showing us a discontinued bag, bro? I mean, what are you, what are you doing? Okay, okay, it, it is discontinued. But I, I know that there are guys out there with the regular GR1. So let me show you my GR1 Heritage bag, right? GR1 Heritage bag, very popular right now. Inside, right here, this is the, damn, what's the name of it? Tactical Scorpion gear. This is their panel. So if you want to, you know, I just hooked it to the Molly up here at the top. And if you want to, you can hook it up, take one of the little pouches, drop it in there. It will stay right there. VanQuest also sells holsters. This is one of the re the regular CCW holsters. They also make ones that will can carry a magazine like right here beside it. So you're carrying it. So I can put that there. I could put it in my other my other GR1, the shooter too. But that was the original purpose. So guys that want to be purist, they want to carry their CCW in the bag. Boom, here's your CCW in the bag with the holster and you can get the extra mag carry if you need it. But that doesn't stop. It doesn't stop there because Hey, what, some guys are out there like, man, I don't really like the GR1, George. I like I like another one of your bags that you said was so great back in the day. Wh which one are you talking about? Are you talking about the Evade? Are you talking about the Evade? The Evade 1.5 full? One of my other favorite bags in the world? Oh my goodness. Look what Helm did years ago in this bag. He was he saw something with the foresight in this bag. This bag is a little heavier than the GR1, but you have this loop line feel in the back here. So I can take my stuff, lay it in this bag, just like this. It will stay however you want it to configure it. There's another bag that's an excellent bag, the Brown Buffalo Conceal Pack. Check it out. Back panel lined with loop. You can hook this, that hook that bag up just like I'm hooking this one up. I'm looking for that bag. I'm looking for a black one. If you know someone, send them my way. Give me a great deal. But yeah, guys, this is the way I am packing my EDC. I've been doing it for close to three months now, you know? And for three months, for me, who changes up bags like people change up underwear, that's a super long time. So I'm very happy with my setup of the GR1 Shooter Edition. Go Ruck, I don't know what you're thinking about. Bring this bag back because I don't think people realize when it was out, it was just for the CCW crowd. This is an excellent EDC bag which you can customize. I can put my hands on my water put my hands on my hygiene kit, put my hands on my first aid kit. It's a clamshell opening. I don't know how much better it gets. And like, I can review bags, but somebody asked me, George, what's your favorite bag? It's the Goruck Shooter, all right? That's my favorite bag. Out there, on and check my videos, my, my video list. I've reviewed hundreds of bags. To the top end, to the very bottom end. And what do I come up with probably for the last three or four years every time is the Go Rug GR1. Now it's the Go Rug GR1 shooter, but it's really been the Go Rug GR1 for a really long time. And they don't pay me. I'm saying this on my own. They don't pay me for this. 
This is a great bag. The construction, the quality, the stitching, the customizability, everything. Great freaking bag. Guys, if you like this video, man, hit the thumbs up button, man. If you loved it, subscribe to the channel because we always got room for more subscribers. If you got a question about everyday carry gear, leave it down there in the description and I'll try to get back to you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you.